Hello and welcome back everyone. So this will be one of the first official props for the vending machine battle royale game. And uh, it's just a very simple fence. It's going to give us some practice modeling and some practice UV unwrapping and texturing. So why don't we just dive in. So I'm starting with a simple cube. And uh, I'm just going to scale this down on the x-axis to about there. Now I want to find a reference image that we can use for this. So I'm going to go to textures.com. And you can get a lot of royalty-free textures here for free. And I'm going to search fence. And I want it to be seamless so that we can line the fences up next to each other and everything sh should just uh, should just work out on its own. And I'm going to pick this one. And uh, you can download this one for free as well as these two. But we're going to pick this one because you can tell from the picture that it's... Um, th th this one is probably seamless. This one is definitely not. Alright, so I already downloaded it. It's on my desktop. Now I'm going to come back to Blender, and I want background images enabled. So I'm going to click on Add Image, Open, Desktop, Textures.com. Okay, so we can't see it. That's because we're in User Perspective Mode. I need to hit 3 and 5 to go into Right Orthographic. And now we, we can just line this up. Uh, I just want the bottom of the image onto on this green line, like so. So that's it. That's it exactly five. And then I'm going to scale my cube on the y-axis. So that's S Y. And uh, I recommend being in edit mode for this. So you can just hit Tab to jump into edit mode, and th that allows you to move individual vertices as opposed to just moving the entire object at once. So then I'm going to hit Z and B for box select, and drag that across the top. And so that, that got all four of these top vertices. And then three to go back into side view, and G, and Z to move this up only on the Z axis. And uh, the scale of the fence doesn't really matter too much yet, because we can scale it around in Unity how, however we want. Um, but we want the, the aspect ratio of the picture to be correct. So that so that's why I'm I'm doing this right now. We we can scale it down later if we want to. Um, so now that now that the aspect ratio is right, I'm going to hit U, and click on unwrap. And uh, basically, what that what that did is, uh, if you could imagine taking a knife and cutting along these edges and flattening this out. And uh, it, it basically took the ob object in 3D space and mapped it into two-dimensional space. And now we can put a texture over here, and it'll map that texture onto our 3D object. So for that, we need to go back to the desktop and grab the wood planks. And so to, to get there, I just clicked on Image, Open Image. And uh, so now if we come over here and click on texture, it's still not actually applying the texture yet, and this is a little bit annoying. Uh, but w but in Blender, in Cycles Render, you need to go to Compositing, and then Use Nodes, and then click on this guy, and then Shift A, and... Oh, you need to click on New Material, and then Shift A, and, and, and add a texture. And uh, d don't worry about memorizing this now. I know it's it's probably fairly confusing the first time you see it, but we're going to do it lots more throughout the series, so it's it's really not a big deal if you don't remember exactly what's happening. So I'm going back to the UV editing view, and now you can see we actually have our texture, and uh, that's that's really not bad. Um, so th so this face looks fine, this face looks fine, but the sides and the top and the bottom are kind of kind of warped looking so so we're gonna have to fix that so what I'm gonna do is uh, in this view I hit tab to go into edit mode and then control tab and face I'm, I'm gonna right click here and shift right click here and then I'm gonna hit 1 and 5 to go into front orthographic and so now I just have a completely perpendicular view to the fence and I'm just going to hit U and unwrap again. And uh, now you can see that it's it's much less warped right here compared to right here. And uh, if we want to now, we can uh, move these around, maybe something like that, if we don't like the color. 
And I think that looks fine. And uh, just confirm it worked on both sides. Yeah, it did. Great. And now we can do the same thing for the top and the bottom. So I'm going to hit 1. Actually, uh, sorry, you need to hit 7 to go into top view. You unwrap. Okay. Now, it sort of worked on one side. You can see the, the top looks great, and then these lines actually line up over here. But on this side, they don't line up. So we're just going to redo the way this face got calculated. So I'm hitting 3, and then I want to essentially flip the mapping of this face. So I'm going to come over back to this view, and I'm just going to hit R. And now you can see it's it's rotating. And I want to do R and 180. And did that work? No. Now it's just upside down. So, so instead of rotating it, we actually had to flip it. So I'm going to undo that with Control-Z. And now I'm going to hit S, X, minus 1. And that should perfectly flip it in the X direction. And uh, I think that worked. Looks like it looks like they all line up. Good enough for me. So now now we're gonna save this. Um, I'm just gonna put mine on the on the desktop for now since I don't have the Unity project set up yet. Um, now when you save your model, if we had done any painting on this texture, you need to make sure you also save the texture externally because for some reason Blender doesn't um, bind the the texture to the model it only saves the model. So it saved the geometry and it saved how we mapped the UVs, but any changes that we made to this image won't be saved. So that's really important to know early on. So you gotta come over here and save as image. And that is our final fence. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. Keep practicing, keep learning, and stay hungry for knowledge. This is a field where there's really no skill cap. You can kind of just keep getting better forever. So don't stop learning, don't stop following tutorials. I'll see you guys tomorrow.